folks, Jen or Mark Griffin here, and we're gonna take a look at the fluid flasks from fluidvapor.com in the standard size for like your Bose LR cardamizers and in the XL size for your dual coils and other longer cardamizers. So let's jump right in, take a look. So the fluid flask. Stainless steel, aluminum outer sleeve, polycarbonate tube, um, in the standard version for like your Bose standard size carbonizers and in the XL version for your smoke tech dual coil longer sized carbonizers. It's pretty fancy looking. Now they came in these little tubes and I'm sorry I didn't put them back in the tubes to show you because it was hard just to getting the stuff that came with it back in the tube never mind the thingy back in the tube so they come pretty tightly packaged um, with a certificate of authenticity which also serves as your six month warranty against defects they came wrapped in the uh, foam they come with a complete separate set of o-rings Warranty doesn't cover the O-rings or the polycarbonate tube, but hey, those are cheap enough to replace. So I'm just going to kind of put this back in this little tubey. Yeah, definitely not a storage device and a, only a delivery device. I'll put my O-rings back in there so I don't lose them. And we'll go back to looking at the important bits the tank itself. Let's take a close up. Very nicely ornate machined outer sleeve. Obviously has little drips to match the Provary. And it has like a speed fill cap. Now that outer sleeve has a little lip on it so it's holding the top cap down. So when you pull this cap off to refill it, um, you can't pull that top cap out which is nice. The uh, sleeve, which is aluminum, but it's not coming into contact with any of your liquids, so that's okay. And it's 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. Um, these parts are food safe stainless steel, Bono FDA approved O-rings on the inside and the outside. Um, a polycarbonate tube. He says they're playing with some different materials, including glass. Now the bottom cap is a little taller than most tanks because it has that outside um, threading to hold the top cap and it has one o-ring on the inside there pretty low um, to catch the, in, the inside of the, well the outside of the bottom of the cardamizer. I'm good with English. I am. So let's take all these pieces and put it together the way you would if you were ready to use it. Stick a cardamizer in it and see what happens. Now, I'm going to use this little tip just because I think the tops, edges of cardamizers destroy O-rings. So, you don't need to do this. I have an O-ring already filled and punched. I'm sorry, I have a cardo already filled and punched. And I'm just going to put this tip on it. I, I don't need it. You don't need this to fill this tank. I just like to not destroy my o-ring so I'm going to use it to slide the cardo past the bottom o-ring but you don't have to do that. Um, the caps go together over the tubing really easily and then you just uh, run the cardo in the bottom and you could just twist it carefully and not use that filler cap and then run it so she's you know about flush and Hold on to this and pull the, oh yeah, so not all my plans work really well. Screw on the outer cap, sleeve. Now they are going to make be making other sleeves and tops for this, this in different designs and styles, which will be available separately so you can change kind of how your tank looks. Um, and again, you don't need this fill thing. You could just pop the top off and fill it in here. Um, but with my, I don't have a lot of thin needle nose tip bottles. So sometimes when I'm doing this, extra juice goes into the cardo itself. Um, 
I think if you had a thinner tipped bottle tip um, or if you were just more careful but I like to make messes anyway as we'll see on the other one you don't need that special tip I just like saving my o-rings so I'm gonna attach it to my device so I can pull that tip off And that's pretty much how it looks. And you can just carefully put that top back on. And you're ready to go. Now you can just, the whole design idea is to just be able to pop that top off, dribble some more juice in, pop the top back on, you're ready to go. It does look pretty nice on a Pro Barry. It's got the same little teardrop design. Now I've noticed on my Mini, and it's not just with this, um, the Mini doesn't seem to have as much clearance between the cap, the top edge, and where the 510 connector is. So sometimes I have diminished airflow. It doesn't happen on my big Progaries, only happens on the Mini. So I'm going to pull the tank up just a little bit so I get some better airflow. This tank also allows for that adjustment because there's space inside that top fill cap, um, inside of the O-ring that's making the seal on the top. Um, so that it, it can it can deal with fluctuations in the height of the cardamizer a little bit. Now try to grab the edge and pull the sleeve off again. There we go. And you can also take the sleeve off with the top cap still in. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to, but there's just a little lip around the top of the top cap. So the outer sleeve actually holds that top cap down so that when you are taking the fill lid off like I'm doing now, you don't really have a chance of taking that top cap off with it. Um, I just wanted you to be able to see the tank. And again, I'm just going to grab my bottle. I'll do it the hard way this time. And again, normally you would leave the outer sleeve on and just pop the top cap off. But you see, you have to be careful not to get extra juice inside the cardo because it could go in the hole and out the hole on the bottom, which this one is going to do on me because I got some extra in there. And sometimes it does seem to kind of pool around the top a little, but you can kind of flick the cardamizer back and forth and it'll go in. There we go. You can put some more in. It is easier than hunting down a special fill cap or pushing the cardamizer through out the bottom, which is a wet cardamizer because it's then been in contact with juice. So this is easier to fill. The other thing I like about it is it doesn't have that kind of silly metal screw on the top. I've seen some other stainless steel tanks that um, you get the care fairness ones that have the screw on the top, which looks kind of silly. Um, this one looks pretty polished. And again, I removed the sleeve so you can see, but you don't have to take them. So that's a close up look at the fluid flasks. Now, I've pretty much been using these non stop since I got them, and I'm probably going to order a couple more as soon as I'm done with this. Um, that being said, I don't mind paying more or getting an expensive product if it's really nicely done. Um, these are machined really, really well. Um, they're thoughtfully designed. Um, I mean, in the video I show it with the sleeve off, but you don't need to take the sleeve off. In fact, it's better if you don't because there's a lip on the top of the sleeve that helps when you pull this top cap off to push juice in. It, keeps the top, the inside stainless steel top cap from coming off of the tank. And then you dribble some juice in. In fact, we can do that while we're sitting here because I seem to have vaped a little while I've been doing this. Um, and I did go find a bottle with a thinner nose. And you just fill it right up. And pop your top cap back on. 
and you're ready to roll, which is very easy and very nice. Um, I would suggest, although you don't need a syringe, either being very careful when you fill it or using a really thin nozzle bottle, um, but that's pretty easy. The tolerances inside are fairly tight, um, and I punch my own cardmizer, so I must have distorted my dual coil a little bit when I put it in here. Um, but if you get the uh, pre-punched cardos, and even if you get the ones with the you know the little ledge or flange on the bottom, they will work just fine, and they actually tend to go in a little smoother. Um, they're a little on the pricey side. They're about 70 bucks each. Um, they're designed to be modular, so you'll be able to buy different s design outer sleeves, um, different design size and shape top caps when they're available, and you'll be able to get them separately. Um, as I said, I don't mind paying a little more for something that looks really nice, and these do look really cool. Um, I mean, they have the little teardrop design that looks great on a Pro Vary, but pretty much any mod you stick it on, it looks pretty cool. Um, so I don't mind that. If you are just looking for your basic cardio tank um, and not to spend a lot of money on it, go to IB Tank or somewhere. Um, you can get a stainless steel tank there for like 20, 22 bucks. And here it is on an EVIC. They are pretty sharp looking. Um, I mean, if it's not something that you're going to want to spend a lot of money for, even for very good looking ones, then it's not going to be the item for you. I don't mind that. I like good looking, well machined, well functioning items. Now there are a couple other sort of stainless steel, fancy higher end tanks on the market. There's the Ari Tank uh, version 4. Um, you know, this was an all stainless steel, kind of easy to use, also top filling because you can unscrew that top part or just push it down quickly and fill it up um, but you can't see how much you have inside and it's not as pretty as the fluid flask it's just not and the cardo sticks way up for XL size ones um, there are also the Kerr Fanis tanks now I love most of Kerr Fanis's stuff I have his see-through windows for the OD and the Penelope the fat adapter for the Penelope his cardo punch um, but his uh, tanks like this have a little, you know, they have a normal stainless steel top cap and then they have a tiny, tiny little screw like from a rebuildable atomizer that you have to unscrew and then fill the tank and then find the screw and put it back in. You know me, I'm going to drop that little screw and I'm going to lose it. Um, or be fumbling around with it or not be able to get it off with my big fingers. So this is a better design for me where you just take the top cap off. Um, my one slight concern is that inside o-ring that catches the outside of the cardamizer because pretty much if you're filling it you're pushing it down over that naked cardamizer that has a hard edge and I wonder how long that o-ring is going to last. But that's sort of the only catch and o-rings are pretty darn cheap and it comes with a complete set of replacement o-rings so it's not too much of a concern. Um, but anyway, I really, really like them, and I'm probably going to get a uh, couple more. They're awful pretty and quite functional. In fact, I swear my juice tastes better in this than anything else I've had it in, which is dumb because it's the same juice I've been using for months and months, and the same cardamizers I've been using for ages, so that's got to just be my imagination or a placebo effect. But your miles may vary. Anyway, the fluid flask from fluid flask from fluidvapor.com. Um, that's a big thumbs up in my book. Thanks for watching.